The V8 call stack is simply a list of functions. A stack is a first in, last out, simple data structure. The top element that we can pop out of the stack is the last element that we pushed into it. In the case of V8 call stack, these elements are functions. Since JavaScript is single threaded, there is only one stack and it can do one thing at a time. If the stack is executing something, nothing else will happen in that single thread. When we call multiple functions that call each other, we naturally form a stack. Then we backtrack the function invocations all the way back to the first caller. Remember how if you want to implement something that's recursive without recursion, you need to use a stack? Well, that's because a normal recursive function will use a stack anyway. Let's walk through a simple example to demonstrate what happens in the stack when we call functions. Here we have three simple functions, add, double, which calls add, and print double, which calls double. And let's assume that all these functions are wrapped in an immediately invoked function expression. When we run this code, V8 uses the stack to record where in the program it is currently executing. Every time we step into a function, it gets pushed to the stack. And every time we return from a function, it gets popped out of the stack. It's really that simple. So we start with the ifE call, which is an anonymous function. Push that to the stack. The ifE function defines other functions, but only executes print double. That gets pushed to the stack. Print double calls double. So we push double to the stack. Double calls add. We push add to the stack. And so far, we're still executing all functions. We have not returned from any of them. When we return from add, we pop add out of the stack. We're done with it. Then we return from double. So double gets popped out of the stack too. Now the execution continues in print double. We get into a new function call, console log. That gets pushed into the stack and popped immediately because it did not call any other functions. Then we implicitly return from print double. So we pop print double out of the stack and finally pop the anonymous ify itself out of the stack. Note how every time a function is added to the stack, its arguments and local variables are added to in that same level. You'll sometimes hear the term stack frame to reference the function and its arguments and local variables. I am pretty sure you have seen the call stack before. If not in Node, then in the browser. Every time you get an error, the console will show the call stack. For example, I changed add to use an undefined variable here, which will raise an error. When we execute this code in Node or the browser, we'll get an error report which includes the call stack. The anonymous function calls print double, which calls double, which calls add. This is the state of the call stack when the error happened. And what do you think will happen if a function calls itself recursively without an exit condition? It's the equivalent of an infinite loop, but on the stack. We'll keep pushing the same function to the stack until we reach the V8 size limit for the stack. And V8 will error out with this error, maximum call stack size exceeded.